The record influx of migrants at our southern border is overwhelming the system. That's been clear. Look at the stats. A chief border patrol agent says the agency is under severe pressure as they're running out of space at facilities, local shelters, and bus stations for asylum seekers. The White House now considering flying migrants to other parts of the country to ease overcrowding. We'll join now live by the House Minority Whip, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. He is here with his reaction. Good morning, sir. We appreciate you being here. Good morning. Good to be with you. Great. The White House sent a letter to Congress. Uh, you're one of the leaders, obviously. He was aiming it at Democrats, but obviously as a key leader among Republicans. Uh, what are the prospects of actually getting some funding here in the weeks ahead to deal with this crisis? I think there's a high price prospect that'll happen, and it's important it does because there's a serious crisis at the border for anybody who looks at it. In many days right now, we're seeing four or 5,000 people crossing the border illegally. Uh, it's overwhelming the system. Uh, President Obama's Homeland Security Secretary, Jay Johnson, mm -hmm. said if 1,000 people crossed illegally, it was too many in one day. These days, we're getting 4,000 or 5,000 crossing illegally. It's overwhelming the system. We have to close those loopholes. We've got to get back to a secure border and a functioning legal immigration system. I applaud President Trump for taking the lead on this. And he certainly is putting pressure on Democrats who now run the House, and rightly so. They have a responsibility to govern. But, sir, uh, with all due respect, do you have any regrets about the first two years of the Trump administration when you and others were in charge and didn't get enough of this kind of funding, particularly on the wall? We could talk about the beds, other issues to deal with. The I know you tried, but do you regret that you didn't succeed enough? Right. Well, there's always more I wish we could have done. We passed billions of dollars of funding for the wall. And in fact, President Trump talks about how he is building hundreds of miles of wall right now. There's a lot more we need to do. Uh, and there's a lot more we need to do on closing the loopholes and getting back to a more secure functioning border. We had zero Democrats that worked with us to do that mm -hmm. when we were in the majority. Uh, so we at least were able to move some bills to show what we stand for. Uh, but none of them got through the Senate and not one Democrat voted to address this problem of border security. Uh, but mm -hmm. it's going to be a big issue in the, in the upcoming election next year. Congressman, as you know, another big issue is the lingering uh, impact of the Mueller report. The Democrats now going after the attorney general, unfairly so, you and other Republicans have said. But then one of your own, Justin Amash, Republican from Michigan, uh, went on this little tweet storm last night, among other things. You see him right there. He says, here are my principal conclusions. One, the attorney general has deliberately misrepresented Mueller's report. And number two, he says, a Republican, that the president has engaged in impeachable conduct and that partisanship has eroded our system of checks and balances. Few members of Congress have read the report, and he calls you and others out, sir, to stand up to this president. What, how do you react to one of your fellow Republicans saying there's been impeachable conduct? Well, I strongly disagree. And if you look at what he said about uh, Barr, uh, Barr's been completely upfront about this from the very beginning. Uh, even in his assessment of the Mueller report, I think one thing that's been very clear from both sides, Republican and Democrat that have looked at it, is that there was no collusion with Russia, which was the foundation of this whole year and a half long witch hunt uh, that spent tens of millions of taxpayer dollars and found no collusion and no obstruction. Mm -hmm. And so I know some people want to keep dragging this on. I'm really glad now that Attorney General Barr is going further to look into the actual corruption within the FBI. Why is it that under the Obama administration, Russia was allowed to interfere with our elections? I'm glad that President Trump is standing up to that Russian interference. Uh, but why did it mm -hmm. happen in the first place? And were there people at the FBI yeah. who were acting on political motivations, who didn't want Donald Trump sure. to be elected president and abuse their power? That ought to be looked into, and I'm glad it is. I want to move on to other substantive issues, but real quick, you're the whip. You're supposed to, in some cases, uh, whether it's counting votes or other issues, keep some of your members in line. Are you upset that one of your own is now speaking out and saying the president should be impeached? Uh, I think anybody who knows Justin's background knows that uh, he sometimes goes a different route than, than the rest of the Republicans in our conference, and, and this is clearly one of those cases. Uh, you don't see anybody else agreeing with him, and in fact, I strongly mm -hmm. disagree uh, with that take. All right. The president's been tweeting about the job situation. You know the economy very strong under Republicans. That's something you and others have been touting. Uh, abortion is another big issue we see in a lot of states, including your own. The Democratic governor is now ready to sign a Louisiana abortion ban. Uh, the president was tweeting about, though, the, uh, that in general, though, not just your state, saying he, it seemed to be saying that he has some concerns that bills in other states that are now law maybe went too far, not having exceptions for rape and incest. Do you have those concerns that it's going to fire 
up liberals and that maybe some of these laws are going too far, sir? Uh, first of all, I don't think the laws go too far. And in fact, in our state, I was proud when I was in the state legislature that Louisiana was ranked the most pro-life state in the nation. And we ought to strive uh, all across this country for a culture of life. And especially when you contrast it to what's going on on the Democrat side, where they're literally ushering in and celebrating laws that allow you to kill a baby after it's born alive outside the womb. Uh, that's where the big divide has been. And on the pro-life side, we, we're continuing to move the envelope and mm -hmm. standing up for life. But on the Democrat side, they're literally allowing laws to be passed and supporting laws that are passed that allow you to kill the baby after it's born alive mm -hmm. and call it a abortion. It's murder, and we ought to stand up. We have a bill in the House called the Born Alive Bill, Ann Wagner's bill that we need to bring to the floor. Okay. Pelosi's blocking that bill. President Trump said he wants to sign that into law to support babies who sure. are born alive outside the womb. Congressman, big issue, as we know, so we appreciate you covering a lot of ground with us this morning. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday with your family. Great to be with All you right. this morning. Appreciate Thank it. you.